Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is the best and safest way to overclock your graphic card without damaging your GPU or leeching life of your PC. Now one may want to overclock their graphic card to increase performance while gaming or while rendering. So I believe this video will help you out in both means. So make sure you guys stick around till the end and don't miss any step for better results. Also, 97% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel. so please Please do me a favor, consider hitting that red subscribe button, it helps me out a lot and with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, before moving ahead, I want to let you guys know that we all have heard that overclocking GPU will damage or leech life of our GPU, but it's not completely true. Your GPU will only be damaged if it fails to consume enough power to run at the overclocked speed or the temperature of GPU crosses the safe limit. In most cases, GPUs are designed to prevent any damages to your motherboard or catch fire, so you don't have to worry about it. If you live in an area where electricity is uncertain, Certain, I don't recommend you to overclock your GPU to its max potential. However, you can do it a little. Alright, let's move in with step number one. That is creating a restore point. For that, press the Windows key and then type in create a restore point. You will open system properties. Over here, go select your local disk C, hit create and name it GPU overclocking. Hit create. Let your system take its time creating the system protection. We do this to roll the changes back to the original ones. Now once you've created the restore point, you need two applications to overclock your GPU. The first one is MSI Afterburner and the second one is MSI Combustor. I'll be leaving the links to both of these applications down in the description below so you guys can go and check it out. Before overclocking, I highly recommend you guys to update your GPU drivers. For that, open up your GeForce Experience or similar application for your graphics card and then go to drivers and make sure that you are using the latest drivers. Also, you can hit check for updates to see if there are any updates available for your drivers. I have already installed the latest drivers so I can proceed with the steps. Alright. Also, before overclocking, I highly recommend you guys to run an FPS test on your PC. To do that, simply open up your MSI Afterburner and then go to settings and over here go to monitoring. Now once you are here, just make sure that you select all of these things such as GPU temperature, GPU usage and make sure that show on screen display is available. Similar for memory usage, memory usage process, core clock, memory clock, power and all the way down until you find the RAM usage, frame rate, frame rate minimum, average and maximum. Once done with that, hit OK and then press Windows key and then open up this thing until you find Riva Tuner Statistics Server. If you guys don't find it open, you guys can always Open it up from your windows. Now once you open this up, run your game and test your frames to see if it actually benefits you. You always need the base frames. Now here are the frames I'm getting before overlooking my graphics card. Now once you have downloaded and installed both of the applications, open up your MSI Afterburner. If it doesn't look like this, go to your settings and then go to the top right section and you'll find user interface. From here, select the MSI Cyborg Afterburner skin red. Then hit apply and hit ok. Now you will be seeing a screen similar to mine. Alright, now it's time to overlook your graphic card. Follow my settings. First thing you have to do is open up this combustor by clicking the K over here. Once it opens up, click on this run stress test and scroll this screen all the way to the left. Also click on MSI afterburner so that it's above the screen. As you guys can see, I am getting a 62 frames per second right now while recording this video at a constant 120 frames per second. Now 
The first thing you have to do is increase your power and temperature limit. Hit OK and it will automatically boost some FPS, like 1 or 2. The next thing you have to do is increase your core clock with the interval of 20s. So, click on it and go hit 20 and hit tick mark. If it doesn't crashes, hit 40 and then tick mark. It's working perfect until now. Now as soon as I hit 120 and hit OK, you guys can see there are tiny rendering errors. If I take it to 130, you guys can see it clearly. As you guys can see, there are a lot of glitches going on on this screen. You have to make sure that these glitches does not come to the screen. So, you have to take it all the way back to 100 where it was working perfectly. Now, for the memory clock. Increase it with 50. Alright, now I am over here at 1150 memory clock and this is the best I can go. After this, my screen will automatically turn off, it won't restart your PC, but it will close all the GPU consuming applications such as MSI Combustor, so I cannot take it away. Also, take a note that I'm recording this video at 120 frames per second, so this is the best I can do. If I turn off my recording, I can take my memory clock to over 1300. Also, while doing all of these processes, make sure that the temperature of your PC does not cross its 80 Celsius, or equivalent to Fahrenheit. Once you did all of the process, you guys can check this is the ultimate maximum performance of your GPU that it can handle. As you guys can see, I have only got more than 2 FPS boost, but it varies game to game. So here are my FPS in the same game right on the screen. So as you guys can see in Far Cry 5 I didn't get any optimal boost but it was good and you can check it out in GTA 5, Valorant, Fortnite or any other game and comment down in the comment section below if that works for you. Also if you cannot find the optimal settings for your PC, comment down your specification and I will help you out. So that was all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me out a lot growing my community. Also, we are really close to 20k subscribers so I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. And with all that said, we'll see you guys in the next video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.